Good afternoon, you spunky bastards. I love you. Check out the hair. Oh, don't I look sexy. Ha. Now I've got my hair cut Saturday. Lovely jubbly. And I'm surprised I've got ears. Bloody cut me so short, I thought my ears was going to come off. No, anyway, how are you doing? I am... Let's see. Apart from the haircut, I had a busy weekend. Um, let me see. Oh, we got a pew pew. That was well timed. Unbelievable. The odds must be forever in my favour. No. Um, yeah, Friday they had a leadership retreat at school. And it was uh, Hunger Games uh, themed, funnily enough. Uh, and, uh... So we got divided up into four teams, we each had to choose our own district and obviously I took the head of designing our um, district's logo and uh, someone accidentally um, nominated me leader because we, we had a leader lined up and then they did this switcheroo at the last minute and told the girl who was at the front of the group who we'd nominated as leader to move to the back to the group so whoever was in second place um, took leader. So, I wasn't meant to be the leader, we didn't decide that, but the person who was like switching the cards around and, and pulling all the switcheroos did a, did a last, last minute. And <laughs> I ended up being a leader. That felt awkward. Um, but it all turned out good because uh, the first round was a minefield type game and because I'm good at games, I uh, helped my team win by being um, clear and uh, concise with my instructions because the only way to navigate them across the uh, minefield because like two of them were blindfolded and two of them were uh, muted to, to, to communicate with them by claps I had to had to instruct them on which which squares not to step on by a series of claps and oh, I was so worried I was gonna get my team blown up well, it's not blown up for real, but, you know, they they got, um, like, if you stepped on a thing, you get sprayed with uh, silly string and, um, like, super soaker water pistols and things. So, if, if you stepped on a trap, something did happen. Something did legitimately happen, but it's, uh, oh, two squirrels. All right, mates. Um, so... Yeah, I didn't want anything like that to happen to my guys, so I played super serious. And uh, my team made it across the minefield first, yay! And um, I just, I'm, I'm, I didn't think I had it in me, but half of it is that I reckon because I'm just so game focused, you know, everything's a game, like, you know, just run into the store, it's like, okay, you know, you go on a fetch quest. You know, like Legend of Zelda, you got to fetch the got to fetch the something emblem from the doodah cave and give it to the fairy of do you know what's it right it, it's all a mission it's all a sub quest it's all something right or even like get into the train station before the train leaves you know it's like a um time-based game like get to the checkpoint by by you know one minute 30 seconds or less you know like you, you get those in games and like you can apply those sort of that logic you learn in games to life and it kind of makes life a bit more fun. So when I was playing the, the mine, mine, hello, oh, it's a cute kitty. Um, when I was playing the mine field game for uh, for the Hunger Games thing, you know, everyone to take it seriously, but it's like, you know, take it seriously, but also like apply some game theory to it. Right, so it's a cool way to think, I think, and it can it can make things like on Sunday at church, we were doing the old spring cleaning thing. We were going to teach kids about cleaning, but like cleaning's boring. Kids don't like to clean. You know, I had to clean up my toys, but I'm playing with my toys. I like my toys, you know. And it's like, well, you don't have to tidy them up. Like they don't have to go away, but like collecting them, like collecting them all up and putting them all in one place, that's kind of like a game, you know, like stacking all the toys up, that's kind of like Tetris, you know, making sure all the blocks fit in the box, that's kind of like Tetris, right, or like collecting, collecting all the puzzle pieces and, and making sure that the, making sure that the jigsaw puzzle is all complete, you know, 
it's it's like those um, fun hidden packages uh, doodars where you've got a uh, you've got like 50 50 um, uh, what do you call them to collect around San Andreas and stuff, right? You know, uh, stuff like that. So you, you can make things fun. Life can be fun. You can find all all the all the items or see how quickly you can do something. You want to make like mundane tasks good for kids, right? You don't have to teach them like, no, this is how we tidy up. We put everything in its place. Well, like, you can have everything in its place, but make sure the kids don't grow to resent cleaning, you know. If cleaning's a fun game, then, then everyone's a winner. You get your house cleaned, then the kids get to have fun, innit? That works. I don't know. So, Sunday was big spring cleaning doodah at church. And Saturday was the haircut. Friday was the thingamajig. Oh, Saturday night, uh, my Assassin's Creed 2 broke. Hello, and I'm playing through my Assassin's Creed series. And like, blah, 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 blah. and um, then it hung on a hung on a cutscene, and I tried to, you know, take it out and clean it. And the disc got stuck halfway in. And then uh, as I dragged it out, it got scratched even more. And I'm like, oh, for fuck's sake! Now the damn thing won't load at all. But I, I have other Assassin's Creed games, but I don't want to skip... I don't want to skip a story in the series, you know. I'm going to spoiler alert, it's enough as it is. Oh, Tumblr, you bastard. Tumblr's a bastard for spoiler alerts. Hello. Nothing, nothing comes with a warning. This post is going to contain spoilers. You just scroll down like, Oh, thank you, you spoiled the end for Princess Frog for me. I ain't seen that. I might want to see that, you know. <coughs> As an animation major, I may want to see that movie, right? But I might also want to enjoy the storyline that comes with it, you know? I don't like Frozen or stuff like that. I don't keep scrolling past and saying, Oh God, God, there's gifts, there's hundreds of gifts, I don't want to see them. What if they're spoilers? Or even worse, what if they're like, not spoilers, but they're like those, uh, like, someone's re re redone the gif so that like, it looks like two characters are talking to each other about something that's not related and yet you think, oh, so that's how their relationship is, is it? And then you're like, oh, great. Uh, you know, and you don't, you either don't go see the movie because of the prejudice or you go and see, you go and see the movie and then you're disappointed. You know, I don't like that. I want, I want preview images that say, warning, spoilers. This doesn't want to get messy. All right, is Madam up? Good. Alrighty then. So, I will speak to you spunky masters later. I've got stuff to do, places to go, people to see, and I will see you on stream later in the week. Take care, stay creative, peace.